Hello, and welcome to Easy Territory. My name is Benton Belcher. I'm the VP of Sales and Marketing, and today I'm going to talk to you about mobile mapping with Microsoft Dynamics 365. Mobile mapping has been a very hot topic recently. The primary use case is that a sales rep's out in the field and something's changed on them. For example, an appointment's been canceled, and they want to be able to quickly pull up a map to see what other leads or accounts are near them. So today we'll take a look at starting in the unified interface and launching into the easy territory mapping application and then jumping back into the unified interface by clicking a new account or lead on the map. We'll also take a look at how easy territory allows you to use the phone's mobile mapping application to give you turn by turn directions from your current location to a location that you want to go to. Finally, easy territory supports large data volumes without any performance degradation. Let's go ahead and take a look at how Easy Territory works with Dynamics 365. From the mobile client, we can cr create a list of all of the Easy Territory projects that a sales rep might need to have access to. These projects would already have views of the data set up for the sales rep. From this list view, the sales rep can link into the Easy Territory application. Now, the Easy Territory application is going to be running in the browser on their mobile phone. Once they hyperlink into the, into the browser, the application is then going to load the view of the data. In this case, we're going to have a view of leads, accounts, and opportunities all stacked on top of the map. We can use the phone's GPS to locate ourselves on the map, or we can use the pinch zoom capability to quickly navigate into an area. Once we navigate into an area, we can select any of the records that we see out on the map. For example, I can select an opportunity, I can toggle the data on and off by the filter criteria. We can click on an opportunity location and see the details of it in the callout. We can also see the underlying details of the account as well. So to see the underlying details of the account, we'll select the account in the layer legend list, click on the record, and see the additional details. These additional details are coming over from Dynamics. If we click on the record's address, it's going to load the mobile mapping capability on the phone. So it's going to open up Apple Maps in this case. We can let Apple Maps tell us how to get from our current location to our next location. It also supports deep linking back into Dynamics. So from the map, you can deep link back into Dynamics to see the details of the record. This is nice if you need to edit the data or enter in any additional information or see any additional information that might not be in the view that you have set up. You can also do an address search from the mobile app as well as create a travel time ring. This is handy if you wanna see which accounts are around you within a certain travel time. So for example, we can take a look at a 30 minute travel time radius and see the details of them. Then we can choose which records we might wanna zero in on while we're out in the field. This is a very quick look at the mobile mapping application. If you have more questions or would like to see a demo or hook it up to your Dynamics instance, please give us a call today.